So here we are, we're doing a follow-up video uh, after the little crash that I had. Um, I gotta say, this thing pulled through pretty well. Um, I broke half of a prop here, which this actually might have happened when it was in, in the air because I did have that, that prop that caught the balance lead. That's why it crashed. Um, so that was totally my fault. I didn't properly secure uh, the balance lead coming off the battery and it caught this and it struggled for a while in the air before it finally decided to roll and fall. Um, <clears throat> so that's not a big deal. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, unfortunately, this kind of sucks right here. This uh, the battery uh, input jack on this power distribution board, that broke. So that's going to be um, something I'll have to replace, which is, of course, connected to all the... ESCs and everything else that uh, binds to this board, so I'll have to replace that. Um, I did lose, actually somehow, I don't know how, but I lost all four of the little rubber uh, isolating, isolating balls or whatever you want to call them that held down the, uh, the action cam mount, so those were lost, unfortunately. Um, other than that, uh, it landed real hard on this arm that broke the prop, and underneath you can see this crack right here. So it did slightly crack the uh, the bottom board, but it seems to be pretty strong still. It, it's it's it might have just a little bit of play if I if I try and feel for it, but not enough at this point that I think I'm going to really fuss about it. Um, I guess ideally I'd like to have a second uh, frame laying around that I could pull pieces from, but for now I think I'm just going to put the prop on it. I'm going to replace this connector. Either I'm going to Replace the board, that'd be the best thing to do, or I might just solder <clears throat> an XD60 connector on and see if I can bond it to the board somewhere just with the wire coming off it. I might do that, but yeah, it held up pretty good. I mean, I guess that's what these things are made to do. They're made to fly, they're made to crash, and fix them and uh, fly them again. So I was pretty happy. It, it fell, I would say, maybe around 130 to 150 feet. It's probably about the height that it fell from. Uh, when it finally decided to drop and hit the ground. So it hit it hit hard. I mean, when it hit the ground, it bounced back up. I saw my action cam and a couple other pieces of the batter. I saw it all go flying off. Uh, flew up in there and everything landed back down. So, it, man, it, it hit hard, but it came through. So I'm happy with it. All right, so we'll fix it. We'll send her back up, and we'll get some more videos of this thing coming in the future. But wait, there's more. Yeah, that's right. I took a second look at this and on this motor that broke the prop, which I also believe is the one that snagged the wire when it was up in the air. Take a close look at the conductors there. They're all melted and fried together. Here's a good one. And there's the bad one. 
So it looks like I need at least a motor as well. So that kind of sucks. That disappoints me more than anything. But um, hopefully the ESC survived. I guess I won't know that until I try to power another motor from it. So I guess one more part took a hit on this crash. Didn't take very long to break a whole lot of parts on this thing, but I guess that'll be a lesson learned for the next one. So, all right, that's it. See you on the next one.